face yet but um I'm in Utah <laughs> I'm in Utah for a homeschool convention and I am going to be speaking you guys know this I've been talking about it for like ever but the day is finally here and I think the Lord is helping me keep my nerves at bay travel day was long but I'm here and I think I feel a little thrown off by the time difference I mean it's only two hours but I've been up since like six because it's really like eight my time and um, I tried to keep going back to sleep because I don't want to be tired today. Then I finally just got up and said, Serena, just like, let's curl your hair and um, start getting dressed because it's probably going to take me a little longer than normal. Y'all know I'm like a five minute get dressed girl because I have kids and <laughs> not enough time to be spending like 18 hours getting myself ready. But today I am. Brian is down, I think, getting some breakfast and I am currently using a curling wand for the very first time so this is interesting hopefully it turns out right it's not humid here in Utah so my hair thanks this great state <laughs> let me show you what I'm wearing hello hey <laughs> Kids on okay, so I think Brian is going to iron this situation for me, but this is what I'm Number wearing, y'all. You got iron for me? What? Babe. Okay, so I just have a white shell and some white pants that I'm going to cuff at the bottom. And this wrap shirt, these bracelets, this watch, these earrings, and... I think I'm gonna try to do like a little, you know, bobby pin type hairstyle. We'll see how it goes. We woke up to these mountains. There. Look at that. Gosh, they drive by these every day and probably don't even pay it any mind. Well, maybe they do. But look at that. I think that I'm pretty much ready. I put these bobby pins on the sides of my hair to keep it back and from getting way too puffy. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, I would have already worn it, so. <laughs> I'm gonna try curl my hair just a little bit again. I like the way it fell, but I don't want it to fall like all the way. So, I'm just gonna curl it one more time. See how it turns out. So anyway, okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys. The first thing I see when I walk out of the doors to the hotel is these incredible mountains. I'm such a dork. <laughs> Anybody from Mountain Heaven States, just ignore me right now because look at this. Hold up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yay! Okay. Are we gonna do any kind of commentary since you guys are like now in the same place? Oh, what or? kind of commentary? <laughs> to go change our room so Brian was gonna go and change the room but I need to get out and walk a little bit and it's way too pretty not to walk out here and it's not warm it's not like super warm or anything well I mean hot it's not super hot which is great so I feel like I get to breathe a little and not be sweaty <laughs> And so that's really good. Sitting through the other presentations, I think is the hardest part. Cause you kind of just want to get your part said and done. So that you can really enjoy everybody else's presentation. These mountains, y'all. When you just look up and there's a mountain. I mean, look at that. 
I feel like my camera is not even doing it any justice. I'm I need to, to get a little closer spot. and use yeah. my big camera. Because there's no way I'm going home without a bunch of B-roll footage of these mountains. So great. Um, before we get started, in case any of you are wondering who I am, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an introduction. Serena, just imagine that you're putting your camera right in front of you, turning it on, pressing record, and the first thing that I normally do is fix my hair a little bit, and then I say, Friends! Well. <laughs> This is my first time here in Utah, and I have to say that these mountains are incredible, okay? And I pray that your home and your school will flourish as a result of choosing the authentic. So with all the love in my heart, I say thank you so much. So we're at the Good and the Beautiful Warehouse. We're getting ready to go for lunch. We finished our first set of talks and now we can breathe a little easier. Right, Ash? Yes. We're breathing easy. We're breathing now. easy. <laughs> the hard part's done. <laughs> hey. Hey. Okay, you guys, so I don't think I've talked very much. Um, I made my way through in my first talk today, and then I have a panel a little bit later. I'm not going to get to see Ashley anymore um, today, which is sad, but I am going to go and see Erica. Erica is speaking in the sharing room or in the Wait, I don't know what it is now, but I'm gonna go see her now while everybody else shops and mingles and things like that. And then hopefully I'll get to see um, Angie before they leave. So I'm getting ready to do that. Oh, we're here again. <laughs> I truly do believe that life brings the greatest lesson. In 2015, I started a YouTube channel to document bits and pieces of our journey. Uh, in our vision statement, it says, and I'm, I'm a little extra, so just bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> we are Faith and Love Academy. Every day we set out to line our actions up with our vision. Like, I want to be good at something, you know? Um, I want to get somebody's award, like, and I don't get no awards. Like, <laughs> you know, and I do. I absolutely love what I'm doing, but the best piece of wisdom at that time that she could have given me. Even though I didn't understand it, I'm like, I'm allowed to be a pro in year two, you know? Like, we take those memories and we drop them inside the pages of those books. You know that baby held? I said, yeah, she said, his birth mom just chose you and Corey to be his parents. And I was like, shut your mouth. So, so even though I'm not talking at it as from a skin color perspective, like, I have to acknowledge that she was there because that's how he came to be. Are you looking past something that maybe he might need you to see? And then that acceptance and that, that confidence, it all kind of, that awareness, it, it kind of makes this whole circle. You know, you might look at me and say, oh, yeah, she's the girl with everything that I'm jacking on. You might look at me and say, and she has on this long skirt, you know, with pleats in it. You might look at me and say, oh, she's the African-American girl over there. All these things do describe me, and it's okay to see them all. Okay, so now I would like to introduce to you my absolute favorite person, okay? She likes to say that she was in the line waiting to see me, but I have really been in the line waiting to see her, okay? So I'm just going to wait here patiently. Look. Look at me. Waiting here patiently. Yep, this is me waiting. It's cool. I just Really want to stay. You, know, you gotta get all this <laughs> There you go. It's I, I just really, no, really, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm not even good. From the bottom, the 
absolute bottom of my heart. I love you. Don't oh, make me cry, Serena. Y'all no, know. No, because I need you to know I sent you messages before. But from the she sued. She stopped me dead in my tracks. That was gonna be my last YouTube video. And you really? said you sent a message and said, I'm watching you right now teaching Nathan. See? There you go. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, you guys, so I'm finished with my talk and I headed over to the Rose Room and uh, because Ashley just finished her talk, I did not get to um, hear this presentation. I really wanted to hear it, but I wasn't able to. So now I'm waiting for my girl. You guys, she is so amazing. <laughs> like I love her online, but I love her even more in person. No, you guys, Seriously? your friend Serena killed this convention, and if you are not here this year, then you missed out, and I truly mean that. She, she and her husband were both the, like, the biggest blessing for Jake, my husband, and I this weekend, and we didn't even know that we were going to be in the same van when the airport picked us up. I did not I did not. And so I feel like that was a total God-ordained thing, yes. because he knew we were going to need each other, and I honestly couldn't have gotten over over my fears without her so I feel the same yeah. it was amazing and she is amazing and everything you guys see on this camera is better in person and I wish you all could see just how wonderful she is so I feel so blessed that's like when I get my thoughts together and figure out everything I'm I know gonna say, that's, that's how I feel I'm like but being with her was like the number like top five things so oh I truly God. mean that yeah no that is exactly how I feel. Well, I was going to love you, you know what I mean? Right. But this is like a whole new level of love. <laughs> and how do we like never know each other, but then it's like so comfortable and I don't know. Like, because I mean, we knew each other. Yeah. But I'm like, it's just so weird. Social media is a it's, weird. It is, right? So weird. And these two. And so good. Right? <laughs> I know. And y'all, Jake makes me laugh. And I don't laugh. For everybody okay so they're so amazing now we're all tired <laughs> yeah, we're real tired here i'm like oh. oh my gosh you guys we are finished <laughs> the conference the convention the conference is over and it has been such a blessing brian and i are so tired um brian's on his like eighth cookie right now can you please not put my beer <laughs> my <dietary stuff. laughs> Uh, I miss Angie. I feel like I miss everybody already. Okay. So now that it's over, uh, what session did you like doing the most? So I really think that I enjoyed... Wait, does, does that include the panel? Yeah. I really liked the panel. Why? Because it was a lot more natural. Um, and it, not that I didn't speak from my heart the other two, but there was more like I trying to stay on time and trying to make sure it made sense. But by the third one, it was just really nice. And it was also really nice to just be with someone else and like bounce off of their perspectives and stuff. But then other than that, I think um, the one on vision it, and, and uh, memory keeping was my favorite because it's my favorite thing to talk about. Mm -hmm. And I think that most people don't see it that way. And I feel like if we did see it that way more, it would help us to keep moving and see our own story and stuff. So I really like that one, but of course, I went over. <laughs> so was it weird meeting all the home, other homeschool moms? It, that you the friends with like on the internet? I don't really know that I have words for that. <laughs> I don't know that it was weird because I think they become your real friends in your heart. Does that make sense? Okay. So even if I never got to be real friends in real life, I was okay with being real friends in my heart. But then it was just like an extra topping, like an extra bit of icing on the cake, you know, to be able to like touch them and see them and talk directly to them and tell them how much you love them and stuff like that. Which I guess is weird. <laughs> Because you did meet them on the internet, but... Yes. <laughs> now it's time to say goodbye. We slept horribly. <laughs> but um, we're excited to 
head home and see the kids. We packed all our stuff and now we're gonna head off um, to the airport. So it was such a good weekend. Um, I think that my mind was kind of racing last night, which is a lot of the reason why I couldn't sleep. So there's that. But uh, we had a good time in Utah. Did you have a mm -hmm. good time? <laughs> I did. All right, let's go.